teachers must carefully consider the grading process to provide fair and equitable grades for the range of students in their classrooms. The purpose of this video is to share potential adaptations for grading in inclusive classrooms. Seeing that the kids are now being graded just like all the rest of the kids, that they're completing the work that, that their gen ed peers are, are completing, they're actually getting into the classroom and they're learning uh, how the, uh, the water cycle works. They're learning how to, um, what a samurai is and how, you know, just all the different aspects of, of history, of science. Uh, they're getting into books that, um, that their peers are reading. It's not for you to get work done, but to bring it in reach for the student. And once it's in their reach, then they are accountable and they are getting grades, they're earning grades. Grading is done based on what the student produces. So if they are focusing on five vocabulary words, We've provided visuals or technology or communication support for that vocabulary, then they are responsible for that. So tests can be modified, um, work tasks can be modified, but the goal is really that they are gaining information, that they are able to access and respond to curriculum at a level that they can manage best. So they are getting standard letter grades, but their grades are based on the work they are producing, which is a portion of the curriculum, but tied to the curriculum. We were uh, making some crafts to do the samurai, and then we wrote some programs. Well, armor and helmet was made for protection and for safety so they couldn't kill them. There may be portions of the activity or the assignment that the, that the students on the alternate framework get graded on um, or do not get graded on that is slightly varied from the rest of the students that is trying to pull out the key components that they need to learn for that lesson. Um, focusing less so on things like dates and names and bigger concept type of things. Are you interested in learning more about inclusive strategies? Visit the TIES website to find more information on the topics listed.